There we go. Self care. <laughs> Relatable. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Megan King, and I'm here at page six. We're playing a game of show the shot or take the shot. Now here's how it works. They're gonna ask me to show juicy texts or photos from my phone, or I can choose to take a shot. So I'm curious, last text message you had with a Bravo Leb. Oh, okay, well let's see. You know, funny you ask that too, because I just was in contact with Alexis Bellino and Shannon Bedore um, over the same topic. <laughs> What was that? I wonder what that was. I know, right? What was that? So, um, yeah, John Jansen, he is you know, apparently a very desired man. So, let's see, I think Alexis was the last one to text me. Oh, she just said, thank you for your love and support, because I was like texting her, like, be careful, it seems like he's love bombing. And then Shannon, let's see what her last text to me was. Oh, this is cute. Okay, so I was, we were texting about psychics, and I have a really good psychic, she's into that, she's always been into that, and so I gave her the, the, the psychic's information, and I said, you actually remember her We did when we did the remodel at my house on The Real Housewife, she's a contractor, and now she, and she's also a psychic, randomly. Shannon says, um, oh great, I'll call her, I'm pretty sure we met if she did the kitchen remodel. Remember that demo? And she did like the emoji, and I said, I sure do, we did the most random shit. And she said it was so much more fun than judgy eyes. <laughs> oh, I mean, it is not that fun for Shannon right now. Um, mm. But I do got to bring up because you're talking about psychics yeah. and warning Alexis. What is your, if Megan was a psychic now, you're, are you worried about the future of her and John? For John? And Am I worried about the future for John? And his relationship. <laughs> you're worried about Alexis, I guess. I'm worried about Alexis and Shannon. That's mm -hmm. where my loyalty lies. I think, like, from what I've seen, and I don't know John Danson, I've never met him. Um, I'm sure he has a lot of lovely traits, but after being in a narcissistic relationship myself and done a lot of healing from that, I just see things that have been put out willingly by both of them, all of them, that kind of lead me to believe that there might be some red flags in the way of that John approaches a relationship. But was that PC enough? So you're friends with both Shannon and Alexis, mm -hmm. is what I'm hearing. Yeah. How, how are we balancing that? I don't know, I mean, I try, okay, so the way I run my life, I try to stay out of gossip and just show up to the person that I know and the information that I have with, from, from their mouth. And I really, I think I approach that well when I film The Housewives, I think I approach it well in my everyday personal life, and that's how I approach it with them. I don't watch the show, so I'm not kept abreast of what's actually happening within that drama, but sometimes I'll see on social media or I'll see in a tabloid article something's happening, and I just want to be the one to lend my love and support because I know that no matter who you are or how much I like you or dislike you, we're all in a very unique position with having our personal lives out there, and we're all a part of this Housewives Club, so I just want to make sure that we band together when the time is right. Has Shannon been texting you at all about Tamra, or are you having any thoughts on that? No, again, like I like to stay out of that because I'm also friends with Tamra and she's been incredible to me throughout the years. But um, when I was talking to Shannon, she did tell me that I was the only housewife that had reached out to her um, to, to send my support with the whole like John Jansen moving on with another housewife situation. Do you have any general thoughts on the breakup that is Trace Amigas? They broke up? They're breaking up as we how speak. How do we, wait, like what, how? Well, oh, they're, they're social media war, they're tweeting at each other. Who? Vicky and Tamara mainly, and we, lots of people think it's because Shan, or because Vicky Tamara is now friends with Alexis, and Shannon oh. does not like that, nor does Vicky. Tamara's no dummy, Tamara's no dummy. Um, well, I mean, who could be friends with Vicky? Like, I feel like anybody who's friends with Vicky is just fake anyway. Like they're just doing it for their own political gain, not for actually, because I actually like Vicky. Like she's not easy to like. She's fun, she's funny, but like to have a deeper relationship with her than just surface, wee, not really, it's, it's not desirable. So um, yeah, that doesn't, that part doesn't surprise me at all. Also Shannon, like I said, she not dumb. And so if she needs to stir the pot to keep her job or if she needs to stir the pot to like be relevant or whatever, and also she's passionate. So like even when she does stir the pot, it's like, she's authentically doing it. It's not like she's just doing it for the hell of it. But the thing is, I mean, there was a clean break between Shannon and John, it seemed to be at least, like from, from the way I saw it. And so, like, Alexis isn't technically doing anything wrong. Is she breaking girl code? I mean, I think the line is a little gray, but um, 
I mean, Shanna, this is a really a strong opportunity for her to rise above the fray and just like date whoever the hell she wants. And they could be hot and successful and not narcissistic opportunists. Can you show us the past castmate of yours whose house you feel needs the biggest refurb refresh? I mean, or you can take a shot if you don't want to offend their interior design, but. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely go for the shot on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody has different styles, but yeah. Cheers. Can I take half? We'll allow it. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, that's really good. <laughs> that's really good. Yeah. Okay. Like, oh, I is it, have answered so is many it acceptable questions. time to take a shot? <laughs> <laughs> Is there a 2024 interior design trend that you just hate, you think people need to stop doing? So the thing with with um, a really lived in lovely home, it's heavy. There's lots of material and there's lots of pictures. And it's great because it feels, if you're a part of that family, it's great. It feels cozy and lived in and loved. But if you're seeing it with fresh eyes, you're like, uh-uh. It just feels like you're entering someone else's space. It's too personal. And also it's just like too much. So the less is more. And you know, opposite of hate is love. So could you show a photo of one of your, of a Bravo Lev or a fellow housewife of yours whose home that you love and you oh. would take over in an instant to sell? Did Heather move? Cause I would love that listing. Wasn't it like 40 million or something? I think it was like 60. 60 million? The, I remember she told me she, she built that for 20 million. So yeah, I want that one, but I'm, I'm pretty sure somebody has it. Oh, I loved Shannon's house in Crystal Cove when she first got on the show and she was married to David. I loved that house. And that was like a little bit of that heavier kind of vibe with like the heavier fabrics. But um, Shannon's kind of southern-y, southern me, southern-y. Is that a word? No, it is. And because you were talking about homes that are very like lived in family style, mm -hmm. that's the opposite of a bachelor pad. Mm -hmm. Is there a single celeb out there that you think you don't get how they are single and you maybe even want to shoot your shot with them right now. You can pull up a photo that really does it for you. <laughs> um, gosh, you know, no, I'm gonna take a shot on this one. I don't want to date anybody, especially celebrity. Like less, of, less big head is better, okay? I want a normal guy, cheers to that. Do you have a photo or maybe a list of things that you look for in your oh my dream gosh. man? Do I have a list of what I'm looking for in a dream man? Let me tell you something. <laughs> I'm all about manifesting. And so several years ago, I did create a list of my ideal man. And I continue to add to it <laughs> all the time. I'm not going to read it to you because it's very, very intimate. But I will show you a quick little scroll. It's called A Man. I originally wrote it April 9th, 2021. And here it is. <laughs> what are a yep. few? What are a few? All right, so, um, I mean, these are gonna be so cheesy, but um, kind, soft heart, and a ton of open space for my children and myself. He's adventurous and wants to do activities, loves music and karaoke. He, he's a gentleman, open my doors. No glaring mommy or daddy issues. That, that, that cuts out the majority of them. <laughs> Because you are in the manifestation mode for this, mm -hmm. I'm assuming you probably are maybe going on some dates. Do you have a photo of a recent outfit before a date that you're like, oh, I'm feeling myself? That either you're like, that guy is so lucky, or after you're like, why the f did I waste this outfit on it? Right, no, if I waste an outfit on a date, I just make another date with my girlfriends. I, there's no way I'm ever gonna waste a fresh face of makeup and hair in a, in a nice fit. Mm -mm. I'm gonna Galentine's Day the shit out of that. Uh, <laughs> Let's see, no, I, I love date nights. I have fun, some fun um, outfits. Okay, so this, here's a good, a, a decent one. Okay, this wasn't a date, but I definitely used it for a date. So I did a photo shoot for the real estate stuff and I, I really liked the outfit. So then I just, I turned it into a girl date. You know, right now I'm really just like not focused on dating guys. I focus on just being a great mom and letting my career take off and putting all of my energy into that. You know how mu much energy it takes to swipe through those apps? And nobody is who they say they are or they don't write back. I mean, I don't, I'm not looking for a pen pal at all. And that's all those sites are. So I'm taking a break. Well then, cause you're taking a break, working on self-care, self-love. Mm -hmm. Do you have a photo of your favorite way? I know you said you're very busy with working the kids, uh -huh. but a favorite way of doing self-care, whether it's a spa day, yeah, definitely. a night. I definitely have a favorite way of doing self-care. Cheers. <laughs>
There we go, self-care. Relatable. <laughs> <laughs> and I know you just said you don't follow too much of reality TV, but are there any like couples, whether it be celebrity couples or Bravo couples that you kind of see and you're like, what is going on here? All the time. <laughs> do you want to show All a photo the of them? That's why they're on TV. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, do I want to, yeah, sure. Uh, I don't have one, but I can Google one real Ooh. quick. This is the one that I don't get. I mean, I guess I get it, but like, it's not smart. Oh. It's not smart. It's not gonna end well. That guy gives me these bad vibes. A lot of them do, though. I like PK and Dorit a lot. I like, they're like probably my favorite. I'm not trying to talk shit on Teresa. I think she's really cool in her own way. And I just love, I love anybody who's authentic and I think she, what she's serving up is truly actually who she is on the inside. It's pr probably not gonna be compatible with me, but like, I appreciate it. And a final question we have for you, if you could just raise your shot and give a toast to yourself, to oh. anybody you want or just anything you need. Give yourself oh. a little moment right Okay, now. that's so cute. All right, so, um, Let's say here's to the real estate market and dropping interest rates. Cheers. <laughs> I think everyone just took a shot with you. <laughs>